Welcome to We Play Golf. Today I'm going to show you and tell you why you missed that last shot to cover the water. Because water hazards are always a little bit more stressy when you play golf. When you play golf and you're on a hole where you have a water hazard in front of you, and you're on the tee, you should be relaxed. Now, any other golfer will tell you, when I see water, I get nervous. I get really shaky in the hands, I get sweaty, I get a little bit more excited and I want to do too much to be sure to clear the water. Well, as a matter of fact, a water hazard is not a danger. I have never seen anybody killed in a water hazard, so you should not be afraid of the water hazard. Therefore, I give you a few tips for the next time you play that you will succeed the shot every time. So as you can see, we have a hole which is about 140 meters and I have to cover the water about 120 meters, maybe 125. Not much wind, so circumstances are not that bad. There's not a lot of wind, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you keep the same routine time and time again. So one of the routines I have is when I tee up the ball, I'll be lining up the line of the ball towards the playing aim, so to the target. Now I am sure that when I take my address position, I'll be correct in the target. I'll be aiming correctly, so you don't need to fear your direction. Then you got your club choice. Now, if I know the complete distance I want to cover, and I know the club, which I need to take only 75%. So I'm not going to make a full swing, full intention. I want to be at ease. I'm not going to make it difficult. Golf is not difficult if you know you can use your 14 clubs at any time. So I just take one club more than normal. So I would take an 8 iron, I just choose a 7 iron. So I know that when I make my swing, a three-quarter swing with no tension should cover the shot. So once you've made up your mind on the direction, you know your club choice, you know your swing choice, which is only 75%, you want to be sure that after a few practice swings, you have control of your breathing, your heartbeat, your feel, your emotions, you're not angry, you're not afraid, you're fully confident in a three-quarter swing with a nice balanced finish. And after all, you should have really relaxed hands. When you tense on the grip in a shot like this, because you're getting afraid or you want to help the club, you're not sure that the club can do the work for you, you get too tense in the hands, the club can't work for you. So be very positive, be sure about the direction, you know that the club choice is correct and you know that the 75% swing is enough to cover the distance. It could be another club for you, but you take one club more, so you do less, because less is more. And this is how we do it. I stand behind the ball, make my practice swing. I got my position. I know where I'm going to aim. You stand up to the ball, relax the arms, you breathe. Can have a little waggle to feel that the hands and arms are relaxed and then you make 75 percent shot so that ball just landed very close to the hole and we cover the water with ease this is how we play golf see you next time Ooh, that's close.